Hello friends. We have seen the first part of Nelson Mandela Long Walk to Freedom. Today I am here with the second part of the lesson. In that le in the second part, I just want to bring to your notice few things such as when Nelson Mandela took oath, the entire building was lit up. There was lot of hustle and bustle, just like a big show that was going on. And that show, that oath taking ceremony created a history, a sense of history. It went down to the history. Till today, we come to know how the people of Africa were ill-treated by the white people. Nelson Mandela also thanks the people or appreciates the people, those who sacrifice their lives for the same cause, getting freedom to Africa. And he follows the same footsteps of the people, those who sacrifice their lives for the greater cause, saving humanity from oppression. Nelson Mandela says, the policy of aphrodite created a deep and lasting wound in my country and my people. It created a hurt to the people of Africa. And till today, the hurt is being there. The feeling is still there in their heart. He is saying that he learned the meaning of courage. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear. Courage is meant to triumph over it. He wanted to have victory over it. If we get frightened for certain things, we will never overcome it. We have to overcome the fear, then only we will have the victory. That's what he is trying to say. He is saying that no one is born hating another person because of his color or skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate. If they learn to learn to hate, they can also be taught to love. If hate and love are both opposite words. If you hate someone, you should also learn to love them. Nelson Mandela also speaks about two obligations he had. The two obligations, one is for his people, his wife, his parents, and the sisters, brothers, all. And the second obligation is talking about his entire people, country, the nation. I, he is saying, even though he was so free, he was not hungry for freedom, but he understood that the people of his nation are waiting for freedom. They are hungry for freedom. He felt the people's freedom is his own freedom. He felt the need of bring freedom for the entire nation. Then only he will, he will have freedom within himself. Nelson Mandela feels it was the desire for freedom of the people to live their lives with the dignity and self-respect and animated life. He wanted his people should live a respectable life, a dignified life where they will not have fear of anyone. And that's how he did his work. He strived hard to get that freedom for the entire nation. Now I will give you some extra questions which may help you for your exam. The first question is, why were two national anthems sang? The two national anthems were sang in order to give respect and honor to the white as well as black people. And also it was a pattern to remove all racial discrimination. The second question is, what were the two obligations referred by Nelson Mandela? The two obligations Nelson Mandela is talking about, one is towards his family, towards his brothers, sisters and parents, etc. And the second obligation he is talking about his own country, the entire nation. This is what is in this lesson. I hope you understood the lesson.
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड कमेंट थैंक यू